Hey, what's up and welcome. It's Matthew here, the designer and developer. We are making a series where we start from graphic design, which is um, a graphic design program in Corel Draw, up to um, a mobile app uh, development, which is React Native and Expo. Okay, so we did a splash screen or the background of the splash screen. Okay, obviously the splash, the, the splash screen has a logo. Okay, so instead of reinventing the wheel, coming up with our own things, what we are going to do, we are going to retrace this logo. Okay, we are going to retrace this logo as it is. Okay, which is, um, that's the only thing that we need now so that we can put here. So in this video, let's quickly retrace this logo. So what I'm going to do, um, I'm going to crop this. Okay. I'm going to crop this. And remember, this is not our artwork. This is something I took from the internet. Okay. This is not our screen. We, we didn't create this. Okay. I just took it from uh, Free Pig and that's it. Okay. So now what we are going to do, we are going to recreate this logo. Okay. Some sort of a retrace it, let me say. Okay, zoom out a little bit. Okay, this is fine. So what we are going to do first, we need to lock it so that it cannot move. Okay, and then from there, we are going to create, take uh, this tool, the shape tool. Okay. Take the shape tool and then we are going to click here. Okay, I'm happy with this. And then from there, what we are going to do we are going to create this, okay? Let's see how are we going to create it, okay? Let's create this square, perfect square here. Okay, now it's not a perfect square, it's more like a rectangle now, okay? And then from there, what we are going to do, we are going to click here, we want one corner here. Not all of them, as you can see, we have deselected others, okay? We all also want this corner here. And from here, what we want, um, let's see if we can move this corner. Okay, now it becomes more like a circle. Uh, that's not what we want, okay? Let me just duplicate this and put it aside for now. Let's convert this to a shape, okay? Convert it to a curve. And then right here in the center, Let's put um, a node there and then let's flatten this. Okay, as you can see, this one also is affected. So let's put a node here so that we can lock it. Okay, so that it cannot be affected, as you can see. And then let's do the same thing, put a node here so that we can lock it. Okay, when you're done clicking here, we are deleting this node. Okay, and then what we are going to do, we are just going to click here make this a curve because now it's a straight line make this a curve and then make it uh, a little bit like this okay and then from then here we will make a node and we are going to delete these nodes okay as you can see we are having a smooth curve there let's make the color of that border red so that we can see it clearly okay Okay, and then from there, let's just make some small minor adjustments. Okay, some small adjustments. Okay, let's see. Some minor adjustments. Okay. Okay, what we can do, so adjust this a little bit, move this to here, okay, move this, uh, sorry, move this down a little bit, okay, adjust this a little bit, okay, and remember, um, we are not going to make this to be like super 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 perfect as you can see this looks like it okay this is what we are going to do let's give it a color 
okay and then what we want to do we want to take another shape okay another shape like this as you can see this is the middle okay this is the middle and then what we are going to do we are going to take this shape which is behind let me just remove the border from this one the shape that is behind click um, together shift and click the other shape and then we are going to say back minus front as you can see now we have subtracted this from this and then we are going to copy and paste this as you can see it's copy and paste okay and then let's give it a different color and then we are going to flip it okay and then from then after flipping it we are going to move it to here like this okay okay as you can see we said we said this is the middle so as you can see these are aligning on the middle okay and then from there let's just um, click this one and shift click this one and we weld them okay they become one shape then when we double click we've got some nodes there which we can just remove by clicking here and clicking here and removing those nodes okay as you can see now it's smoother let's check what's going on here in the bottom okay also i don't have much problem with the bottom okay remember we are not designing a logo so what i will do i will just scratch this like this and then delete these ones okay i'm hoping uh, they are not going to affect the overall look and feel obviously everything works fine and then what I'm going to do, I'm just going to lock this here, lock this here. We can just delete this node. Okay. Double click. Delete this one and delete this one. Okay. As you can see, somewhat like it. Okay. That means we are done with the first eye. And what we are going to do, we're just going to create a border there, remove this we've got the eye there okay and then we're just going to create uh these small circles there i'm happy with that okay then let's change the width stroke okay i'm happy with that I'm happy with that and change this to red happy with that okay and then let's just give these uh, the proper color proper color okay and then we can convert this into an outline okay not a line okay let's just control shift two control shift two okay and then let's make this like one object by welding it okay so this means now this is just one object okay and then we can duplicate it or control c v instead copy and paste control c control v then we can press shift while we are moving it okay and then we want to create this okay also this is not much of a problem okay this is not much of a problem okay let's make this bigger happy with that as you can see now it's a line Control shift q we have changed this from being a line to be an outline okay click here delete this delete this
okay i'm happy with this remember it doesn't have to be super perfect okay we are just tracing it uh to look more like close to this okay Okay, more like it. Then let's highlight everything and change the color to red and see how it looks. As you can see, very, very close. Okay, very, very close. Let's see. Okay, now let's weld everything and then give it a proper color. And then let's change this to yellow to see what's going on. Yes, this is what we want. Make it white. Okay, let's just move down our mouth a little bit. I'm happy with this. Duplicate it. Put it in our splash screen. Okay. Let's just adjust our head a little bit. Okay, I'm happy with this. Okay, that is it. We've got a smiling head right there. Okay, that means we have to lift it up a little bit. And then that's the splash screen. Okay. So um obviously let's just put app there. Okay. Let's just put app there. Make sure everything is centered. Guys, we have just finished the splash screen. Okay. So what we need to do now, we just need to save the splash screen. Okay. As you can see, the size is still exactly the way it was. Okay, nothing has changed. So let's save this as a PNG. Okay, Control E for exporting. Um, here on downloads, let's just uh, open a folder. Let's say app assets. Okay, and then um, we're going to change this into PNG. And then we're going to use um, expose naming convention, which we're going to name this splash. Okay, only the selected one. I'm happy with this. Okay. Let's see how it looks like the selected one. And that's it, guys. This is our splash screen. I'm happy with this. Clean, nice and neat okay and that's it another thing as you can see we've got the logo here okay we've got the logo here to make our work uh, a bit simpler i think we are going to export the logo with this name okay there is no way we can want to change the color of this app and whatever it will remain as it is okay so or let's just uh, export the logo alone. We will type this in a code just for good uh, programming practices. Let's export the logo alone. The logo, we are going to export it as a PNG also. Okay. Let's say logo. Okay. Only the selected one. And that is it. Okay. What else can we do? um what else can we do i think that's all we are happy with this guys we are done with the splash screen in the next video we are going to create these assets thank you so much for watching see you on the next one